freezing. I just had to put this jumper on because I'm freaking cold and I don't know why. <sighs> anyway, welcome to a very random day where, uh, well, outside looks very gloomy. It's, it's grey. <laughs> it's just grey. Um, I thought I would do a bit of a mood reading because I want to read. I just don't know what I want to read. And I have all these books that you will have seen in a previous video, I do believe. If not, the thingy will be somewhere. <laughs> um, well, I have all these started books and I, I do want to finish them. I just, for some reason, doesn't... I, I don't seem to wanna pick them up. I guess maybe because they're separate from the rest of my, like, unread books. And for some reason that makes me not see those books. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. That's what I thought we'd do. So, let, let's see what we wanna read. Well, I wanna read. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what do I feel like reading? I don't know. I don't know. Being a mood reader can be great and it can suck. It can suck bad. So the reason I think it's great is because you don't always have just one mood. Just in your everyday life, you never have the exact same mood. You're never just happy, never just sad, never angry. You're not, you don't have just the one mood. So being a mood reader is <laughs> very much like that sometimes. Your mood changes, as it were. <laughs> Hence, mood reader. So being a mood reader, I do tend to sometimes to jump from book to book to book. And sometimes I just don't know what I feel like reading, even though I want to read. And it can be a problem. And sometimes it's very, very hard. So in the same way that your mood changes, the sad, happy, angry, whatever, it's a form of expression. And the same goes for like the books you read, the, the kind of mood you're in. Sometimes you want something funny. Sometimes you want something action. Sometimes you want a thriller. It's the same with movies. You have moods, as it were. But being a mood reader also means that it can change from two seconds to the next. And that's not always the the best, because it means you kind of start a book and then you're like, ooh, yeah, no, after like one sentence. So hence, this pile around me. <laughs> These are, most of these books I've at one point or another collected a couple of books, like five to ten books, put them down in front of me and started one chapter in each one. I've done it with multiple books, I've multiple books that I've finished and these just kind of get left behind. It's not that I don't want to read them, so I'm not actually forcing myself to read something I don't want to read right now. It's just that right now I don't know what I want to read. <laughs> And it's a bit of a problem because I really want to read. Yeah. So, here we are. Mood reading. I think I've figured out the problem with this book. So, Gemini. Gemini is the second book in the Illuminae files. And uh, in the first book, Illuminae, we are... <laughs> on a ship following some characters 
In this one, we're on a completely new ship following completely different characters. So just that is bad enough. I had a hard time getting into Illuminae and then as soon as I was like into it and following the characters and were like, yes, this is it, it ends. And then I'm on to book two with new characters that I don't know and I need to get to know and all that. <laughs> That's one problem. The other problem is pages like these. Yeah? It makes it very difficult to read when it gets a bit darker, even with the light on. I do have a reading light on always when I read, but I, 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 it's hard to see. Even with light, it's hard to see a black page. It's hard to look at it, especially when the there's like font in it as well. Not font, color, colored font, and it's 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 not white. It's a very light gray or a dark gray, and you're like, how am I supposed to see this even in bright sunny daylight? Ah, anyway, um, I have managed to read 125 pages of it and I'm gonna call that a win and I'm gonna move on to something else because I can't, I just can't. <laughs> Weird angle, but I'm gonna go with it. Anyway, I've been reading Mules Again Malice. I am on page 122, about to start chapter 9. I'm not sure why I put it down the first time, because it's honestly fun. It's fun. So we follow Jude and she's um, she's a saxophone player? Trumpet player. <laughs> Close enough. Um, in Baton Noir, I think. Yeah. Um, she has a hard life, but she works hard for the little she has. Uh, basically, her dad is, um, well, let's say poorly, uh, quite poorly, and uh, he's been that way since her brother died. Um, there was an accident, and he's, yeah. Um, so, basically, Jude does everything she can to, like, make a little money to put food on the table and keep that roof above their heads and so on. Um, yeah, so there's that. But <laughs> as Jude was playing her trumpet with her band, I guess, it's not really, is it a band? Yeah, it is a band, but not in the rock and roll band kind of sense that I'm thinking of right now. Anyway, um, there was a funeral for the Kaju Queen, so she died, but <laughs> uh, it's it's in the first chapter. But um, yeah, her spirit kind of inhabits Jude. And now Jude must, around <laughs> everything else she has to do, now she has to help this uh, spirit, Kaju, Kaju Queen Spirit, um, to figure out who killed her. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like it though. I do really like Alex Bell's writing. Um, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, like, scary, scary, like, um, what's it called? Fro Frozen Charlotte? Um, that is creepy. AF and the sort of I guess prequel um is kind of creepy. I, th I think Seeking Charlotte is that one? I don't know. Um that's kind of creepy as well. And then I read what's it called? The Haunting, which was this ship. Well, it was this house that was built from a ship. <laughs> so um yeah, yeah it, the, the house is haunted. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if this is supposed to go in the same lines as Dad, that thrillery seeking, because I'm not freaked out or scared. It's interesting, though, and I I really like the character of Jude. Um, I am curious to see what else happens. So, yeah, that's my little update for now. I'll, I'll check back in a bit and see. I'm, I'm going to just continue reading this now. Yeah. Okay, let's wrap this up, shall we? So, I 
finished Music and Malice in Hurricane Town by Alex Bell. So this was such an easy read, so much so that I wonder why did I put it down in the first place? I don't know. I just blasted my way through this and I'm so happy I did. <laughs> like I said earlier, I don't know if it's meant to be like scary or any 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 of that sort of thing. It has its mystery, it has its intrigue, it has a bit of a thriller element but not like heart palpitations, not, not like that, like heavy breathing and stuff. No. However, I will say that were they to make this into a movie, this could very easily be one of those like Disney movies for teens um, and it would be such a good time. <laughs> there are things in this book that I would like to see on screen. I'm not gonna lie because I'm interested to see how like it would translate from paper to vision as it were. So, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So this means I'm down to 14 books and not 15, so yes. Very, very good. So I started this one, I took off the dust jacket. Um, I started uh, Walking on Sunshine. So I've only read um the first three chapters yeah so i i'm about to start chapter four uh it seemed to be that we're following three characters i don't know so far there's only been three characters and the uh the character in the fourth fourth chapter as it were is one from previous so we'll see if there's more characters we're gonna follow or not but uh yeah so basically two friends saja 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 Zaza, Zaza, Z A Z A, yeah, uh, Jaja, <laughs> Jaja, and Vicky. Um, so it starts with Sha. So uh, Jaja and Vicky uh, lost their friend Pia to breast cancer, and uh, now, so we're following each of them, and also Pia's. Were they married? Well, her partner Mike. Um, uh, so the last bit I was like, apparently she had decided that on a certain amount of days after her death, they were gonna like clear out her stuff from Mike's house, I guess. Um, so I'm not very far in. I don't know what's actually happening, uh, but yeah, that's that's it's 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 an easy read it's a bit sad uh considering the subject matter uh so i'm hoping it it livens, livens up a bit um so far we've had jaja if that's how we say her name her like i want to say anniversary party but her engagement party and then next chapter was vicky and her, her husband yeah her husband coming home uh to their baby baby sister basically uh, not having done anything and not knowing if the kids had woken up or not <laughs> great babysitter there and um basically vicky not wanting her husband to go away and then we went to Mike and we saw Mike meeting up with Jaja and Vicky coming to his house and yeah, basically he's depressed and I don't blame him. Um, so yeah, we'll see where that leads off. But for the time being, this video is going to end here. I'm going to take it as when I read some of Gemini. I finished one book and I read a little, little, little bit of Walking on Sunshine. So I'm taking it as a win. But yeah, mood reading can be hell, can be great, can be hell. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.